going on guys welcome back to another pickup episode let's do some mail first one this right here looks like an ordinary Clatu figure but this one is actually a lily letty stupid cheap i looked at all the markings it definitely checks out as letty it's going on my letty shelf which is over here currently so awesome last one i picked up a the lost world jurassic park Dieter stark figure who is like 95% complete. It comes with his larger rifle, which is pretty sweet. He's only missing the smaller gun that he comes with. He also came with his compi hatchling, which I know can hold on to him in the front somehow. It doesn't look all that much like the actor, like usual. He has a really sweet engine tattoo on his forearm. That is commitment to your company. The figure overall is nice. It's got nice paint. It has a little bit of wear on the black straps, but that's okay. So another Lost World figure to add to the shelf back here. We're one step closer to completing that line. That's it for mail. Let's head on over to the goodies that I found. So we'll do some Star Wars first. Uh, I saw this at Walmart. I don't know what compelled me to pick it up. I just grabbed it because it was there. And that's the uh, Luke Skywalker Jedi Knight, the three or three quarter inch black series. I just wanted to get something maybe you could say so i picked it up it's a cool looking figure and uh i might open it i don't know it's got a soft good robe it comes with the lightsaber and a lightsaber hilt and the little tool i think that's the little tool that he uses to uh actually construct his lightsaber when he's in the cave these next three are awesome and i do plan on opening these so let's start right here this is from the it's funny because it says Super Shredder, and then it says Super Shredder again. But this is Super Shredder from Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. This Super Shredder has some crazy awesome paint. He's got a purple tattered cape. He's got, like, his ribs are showing, and he's kind of gross. Looks like he's covered with warts. I don't know what's going on with him, but it's awesome. This dude is crazy looking. He's got a soft plastic cape, which is nice. He's got kind of a head turn, but the cape kind of prohibits his head from turning all that much. I gotta admit, he looks kind of like crazy Independence Day alien without the cape on. Movement in the shoulders, he's got a wrist turn, legs go forward and back, and he actually has a knee joint, which is pretty uh, fancy for this line. Uh, but the paint's pretty cool, there's not a lot of colors, but what is here works pretty well. I just think he looks awesome, and he comes with this this extra spike piece which looks like it plugs in the back here that looks cool so yeah super shredder uh, pretty cool looking figure I'm always a sucker for shredder I buy you know even the horrible figures of shredder next up is vigilante Casey Jones this is from the tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles line as well it just looks like a repaint of the Casey Jones that we already have all right so this Casey Jones is pretty sweet looking he has a little bit of a head turn, he's got shoulders, he has elbows and wrists, hips, knees, and uh, that's about it, no ankles. He's got like this crazy kind of holder for his weapons already attached to his back so you can, you know, you can slide the bat in. The pretty sweet mask that he comes with just kind of plugs over his face. Now I don't know about you guys, but I probably will always display him with the mask on because there's nothing that appealing about the black and white paint on his face. I don't really think it translates that well to the figure, but to those of you who like it, that's great. Uh, me personally, I prefer the hockey mask on my Casey Jones at all times. Last but not least, we have Toxic Mutagen Man. This Mutagen Man, I think looks better than the first release because I like the green limbs better than I like the yellow. This Mutagen Man is pretty sweet. Basic, it doesn't come with any accessories. You can turn this knob here to make his head or whatever turn in there. Uh, he has the paint on the eyes. And he's got this piece in the front which looks awfully like 2-1-B's uh, microphone piece from the vintage Star Wars figure. He's definitely shorter than Casey Jones. Next to Muck Man, I would have to say that Mutagen Man is probably my second favorite TMNT figure from the vintage line. And I really dig this figure as well. All right, guys, so that's gonna do it for my pickups. We got some, uh, we got some modern Ninja Turtles. We got some vintage Kenner, Star Wars in the Lost World, and then we got a modern Luke here from the Black series. I want to thank you guys for watching. So make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.